It's our story. Harriet McBride Johnson, presented by the ADA Legacy Project. Privilege and Poverty, Part 23 of 29. Well, some people who are born in positions of privilege mistake them for bootstraps. I have known people whose families were wealthy, certainly by the standards of the world, and for that reason they didn't qualify for benefits. And so they imagine that the benefits are somehow harmful to the poor people. And I don't think I've been under that delusion. But um, John Kenneth Galbraith said one time that um, most people are under the delusion that the rich are idle because they don't have enough money. You give them tax breaks, you know, giveaways, etc., to encourage them to do more. And the poor people are idle because they have too much money. And, you know, I don't think that's the way reality is. Um, but I, you know, it was, uh, were benefits in the picture for me. My family was perfectly able to support me. Um, and I was less expensive than the other kids because I was banned from private school until age 13. And, you know, they, my sister had to have ballet lessons and I didn't and stuff like that. So, you know, it was not a financial issue to take care of me. The one time in my life that I could have qualified for benefits was when I went to law school because I had been working and I quit my job to move to Columbia and go to law school. During that period of time, I could have gotten social security disability, but I didn't know it because I thought you had to be unable to work. And I was not unable to work, I had quit a job. And now that I'm a social security lawyer, I know that the operational definition, I would have qualified based on my medical condition and the fact that I was not then working. And I didn't know that. So I never have been on benefits. But I think the benefits are good things. I think they could be a lot better if we structured them in a way that didn't force people to get poor, to be poor and that didn't punish work so severely. But, um, they beat not having any money by a long way. Be inspired, be informed, be involved. We plus you equals power, passion, pride. The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.com or the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.